Hey guys, in this video lecture we are going to install Python 3.7 on Ubuntu and Windows operating system. In Windows, Python is not installed by default. We need to explicitly download the file from its official website which is www.python.org slash downloads and download the latest source release by clicking on download Python 3.7.0 regardless of which system architecture you are using. Website will automatically detect your OS with the specific requirements and shows the download link accordingly. So file has now been downloaded. Just go to the download section and here we have the Python 3.7.0 exe file available. Just run this file or open this file. And make sure you just click the checkbox add Python 3.7 to path and uh, in click on install now it will by default install your Python uh, in C drive so just click on install now and click yes for the administrator rights and it is installing the Python 3.7 package for you so wait for the installation to complete our setup has been successfully installed or completed to check if it is successfully installed just open up the command prompt by going to the start button and search for the command prompt click on it and write python hyphen v to check the version of the python we have complete, uh, successfully installed or not which is python 3.7.0 also python gives an interactive shell called idle for windows just go to the start program and search for idle after the installation of the python and here you can see idle python 3.7 and click on it and uh, we can be able to run commands interact interactively here as you can see python 3.7.0 is being used for this python uh, interactive shell so we'll check if it is successfully installed we'll print use print function and inside that print function we'll uh, write a string called hello world to check if it is uh, working just fine or not so as you can see it gives an instant output or executed the command so it is just working fine for us in windows in linux python is already installed if we open up the terminal by pressing ctrl plus alt plus t and write python hyphen hyphen version hit enter it will show 2.7.6 version which is being installed maybe in your case it will show another version depending on the distribution you are using in my case i'm using ubuntu 14.04 so and if i write python 3 hyphen hyphen hit enter it will show 3.4.3 .3, which by default comes with linux distros as we want to use python 3.7 in our case we need to install it explicitly if you are using ubuntu 14.04 or 16.04 you can use felix krulls dead snakes ppa so i'm using 14.04 ubuntu so we need to write sudo apt excuse me it's add apt hyphen repository space ppa colon dead snakes slash ppa hit enter provide the password of the sudo user and as you can see press enter to continue and our repository has been added so we'll need to write just sudo apt hyphen get update we need to update the repository that we have created it will take just time so our repository uh, or has been created and we have updated the repository it's now time to install python 3.7 by just writing sudo apt get 
cat install python 3.7 hit enter click yes to install the to continue the installation it will take some time to install python 3.7 in ubuntu 14.04 and if you are using Ubuntu 16.10 or 17.0 or the latest version of Ubuntu then Python 3.7 is in the universe repository so you can just run sudo apt get update and sudo apt get install python 3.7 you don't need to add the repository in uh, the latest version of the Ubuntu so it is now unpacking the python 3.7 and setting up the packages wait for the moment to install for the installation to complete so it is now python 3.7 has been installed to now check if it is successfully installed by typing python 3.7 and hit enter and see uh, it shows an interactive shell with the python 3.7.0 with the gcc compiler and to check if it is successfully or the commands are uh, successfully executing or not we just write print function and inside that print function we write hello world and hit enter it successfully executed the command so it means that our python 3.7 is up and running so guys we have successfully installed python 3.7 on both linux ubuntu and windows operating system Please do subscribe my channel and share my videos. See you guys in the next video lecture.